This is the plaintiff, Russell King. He says he painted the interior of the defendant's house. The woman hasn't paid him in full, and that's just not right. She also bragged to him about buying a new car. She has no couth, and he wants every penny of the $3,000 he's owed because he did an excellent job for that lady and is tired of waiting around for his money and deserves to be paid. This is the defendant, Rashida Brown. She says the plaintiff brought his young 12-year-old to work with him and had him use heavy, dangerous machinery and had him do manual labor. The man also asked her out on dates in front of his son and acted in a highly inappropriate manner. Bottom line, he did some work for her, never came back to finish the job. She's all paid up with him and owes him nothing but a good riddance. She's accused of shortchanging a painter. All parties, please use your right hand. You see it? Come to order, please. Litigants have been sworn, Your Honor. Thank you, Douglas. Welcome, Russell man. King, you are suing Rashida Brown uh, for $3,000 that you say she owes you for construction work that you were doing on her home. Tell me what happened. On July 27th, um, I was contacted by Ms. Brown through a family friend. Um, she had asked me if I could help her put down a hardwood floor into her home that she just purchased. I did so. I came by house to look at the flooring. While I was there, she didn't ask me if I could pick up some extra jobs in the house, such as painting, the complete interior of a 1,200 square foot home, also tearing down 230 feet of fencing and installing a new fence, also installing tiling into one of her bathrooms. I agreed to doing it. For what price? Initially, I gave her a price um, for the painting of $700. She said she didn't have that type of money. So I kept reducing the price until we figured out it would be $300. The reason why I kept dropping the price was we're both a part of an, um, a nonprofit organization where we help young adults. So I figured it would be one time that I helped somebody out for such a low price. But did she need you to help her out for such a low price? No. Um, after I drew up a contract for the pricing which I gave her, she then bragged to me she was going to buy a brand new BMW with Sherry had a new car. And then she wanted me to install a custom closet for her 50 designer pocketbooks that she wanted to put in. Okay. Oh, I guess you should have charged a little more. Yes. All right, so do you have the contract? Yes, I do. Let me see it. <clears throat> so what work did, were you able to complete there? I completed the flooring, the tiling, and the painting. The painting was done? Yes. The, the flooring was done. What wasn't done that was in the scope of the work? Just the Just fence? Just the final installation of the new fence, which she had already hired someone to do it while I was there. So when you come to do the work, you're surprised to see somebody else doing it? Um, on the last day, yes, because um, I was finishing up on the hardwood flooring, and that was my final day, and I was going to start the rest of the fencing the and next day. And did she day. tell you why somebody else was doing it? No. At, at that point, we had become kind of separated on our issues. How so? Well, I, I realized that I, I felt like I was being taken advantage of because um, she did have the money, and that her personality was a little bit more of a materialistic person, not what I expected. Was she impolite? Was she bossy? A little was bossy. She, little was, bossy. She not, was she impolite to the people working there? What do you mean? No, she was a little bossy. Um, when I tried to explain to her details about how jobs are done, she pretty much told me, you don't need to tell me that I know all this stuff. So I stopped explaining what I was doing to her. All right, so when you got there and somebody else was doing your work, what, what did you say or do? I didn't. I just finished what, up, what I finished. I asked for the final payment, and I was going to go leave. Were you at, what was the final payment that you asked for? Um, which should have been $600. Is that what you asked for? At or did you ask for less than that? No, that was what was left on, on the contract. Okay. And then she said what? No, she wasn't going to pay me because I wouldn't take material left over and stock it into her basement. Why won't you pay him? I paid him for everything he worked for. I even gave him an extra $100 for taking down that fence. And then I paid my friend Jeremy to put up the fence. I paid Why him did for you everything. switch who was putting up the fence? Because you have a contract with him that you're going to pay him $500 to put up the fence. Because after you called me dumb, asked me if I was on my period, um, talked to me inappropriately in front of his son. How? To, uh, asking me to go on dates to Cedar Beach with him. Uh, also saying that um, it's okay that his 13... 
He's 13 now. Your old son on heavy machinery. I said, is that okay? He said, oh, no, he's fine. I was uncomfortable. I walked outside. I said, are you okay? He said, I'm fine. Then I watched him cut the wrong size pieces. He ruined like almost a box of bamboo flooring. He was very rude, very the disrespectful. The child or the parent? The- okay. oh, no, the kids are the sweetest kids ever. The mom does a great job with them. Okay. I work with the mom Thursday. I teach an adult class on Thursdays. I see her there all the time. Those kids are well-behaved, well-dressed, mannerable. So I didn't even know what he was talking about when he started talking craziness about his wife. Well, you know the children that you teach dance I to love the children kids, too. Yes. All right, so explain to me, how much had you paid him until that part? I paid him for the painting. I paid someone else $400. So you paid 300 for the painting. Mm-hmm. And he didn't have to paint the entire house. The house was painted. There was like splotches okay. and blotches because I paid what somebody else. What else did you pay him for? Um, I paid for the hardwood flooring. So that's another 300 right? Right. Okay. Anything else? And I paid $100 for taking down the fence. You paid him $100 for taking down the So according to you, you paid $700. Uh, and- 600 according to, he signed my contract. That, the contract he gave you. How much did you pay him? I, let me look at the contract. I'm pretty sure I gave him 600 I think. Okay. Because the, the contract, well, the floor well, no, 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 was th- 700 Because the last bit of the money that I gave him was cash and he didn't sign. But I do have a text messages from him saying, oh, are you going to give me my $130? Because I remember when he came, I didn't know he was going to finish up the job that day. So I had the $500 to pay Jeremy for the fence. I said, well, I didn't know that she was going to finish Who's up today. Who's Jeremy? Jeremy's the guy. The who other did, guy? Yes. Okay. Who finished up my fence. So I said, I didn't know you was going to rush the job and finish because he was supposed to put down. So rush what job and finish what job? Rush the, the job floor? for the bathroom. He was supposed to put in tiles. Right. Of, and a subfloor. I went and bought He's all He's going to put a subfloor for a hundred bucks? Well, that's what he told me. I'm not going to argue that. Are you going to argue that? Somebody gives you a good price? I'm pretty sure it's not going to happen. That's uh, no, no, problem. no. But I'm going to tell you what happened. I'm going to tell you right. what happened. So uh, he, I bought the subfloor and then when he saw the guy there, he didn't, he no longer wanted to do the work. I said, fine. He said, well, the tiles are too heavy. It'll sink through the floor. We have to return the tiles and get the peel and stick ins. I said, whatever. So the peel and stick ins okay. are in now. So I just need you to listen to my question. Okay, no problem. All right. So you paid him to install the tile. That's a hundred bucks on the contract. Uh-huh. And you paid him to uh, paint. That's 300 bucks on the on contract. On the seven. And you paid him to put in the hardwood floor. That's also 300 bucks on the contract. That's uh, the altogether, seven. Altogether, yes. Did you pay him more than that seven hundred dollars? There's nothing there then for the fence. So did you pay him more than that seven hundred dollars? Can I show you my you... different? Because my copy is different than his, and it has his signature on it. Okay, let me see what you have. Did get did you, paid for you, can you just listen to my question though? How much total did you pay him? I want to say I paid about seven hundred dollars because I gave him two hundred dollars cash, and he said that I owed him another hundred and thirty dollars. Do text you not message. know how you, you just talk a lot, but you're not okay? Do you mm-hmm. know how much you paid him? Is it seven hundred? Do, do you want to say it's seven hundred or is it seven hundred? So you're not I, what sure I don't want to do him. is not tell the truth. Okay, so you're not gave, sure what you paid him. So the, right. that six hundred dollars, I am sure because we signed off for that. By but the way, I you have, have the exact same thing. The exact same thing. Exact same thing. Okay. All right. So according to this, you Can, still owe six hundred dollars. No way. I paid. I'm not paying for. He didn't put the fence in. That's and just, I have a text. Can you stop talking and listen to me? Listen to me. Okay. According to this, there's six hundred dollars <laughs> owed, and if he didn't put the fence, the fence is five hundred. Mm-hmm. But it's going to be less than that because he already pulled out the other fence, and you switched it on him. So uh, if you have a good reason for switching, look at me. Yes. If you have a good reason for not letting him finish right. it, which is that people he's being disrespectful or whatever yeah. else you expect, mm-hmm. that's fine. But he would still get paid for what it is that he did do. Right. So. This contract says he's owed five, that, that you're going to pay him 500 for the fence. Right. In mid fence, after he yanked out the old chain link, right. you decide he's rude, he's inappropriate, I don't want him here. That, that's yes. fine. If yes. I decide that's fine, then that's him breaching and not you. Mm-hmm. And if that's fine, then it would just be the portion of that 500 that you do not owe him because you had somebody else do if your breach was fine because. Okay. It was his fault. If his if it was his breach, really. I have a text saying that I owe only one hundred and thirty dollars from what we agreed needed to be paid, and he texted me. What was it agreed that needed? I told him that I don't have all the cash to pay you what you want me to pay you today because I only have the two hundred and fifty dollars that I was supposed to give Jeremy for half of the job, and then a remainder two hundred and fifty dollars for the other. Do you really drive a BMW? You have a bunch of like decorated purses, and you have. I have a. I had a two thousand eleven BMW that I trained. So you're entitled to drive. I'm just saying. Well, you you know. And I had a two thousand fifteen. I don't have fifty purses. I donated twenty to the Salvation Army, so I have thirty now. Oh, lovely. 
Welcome back to the People's Court, Harvey Levin here. So if the plaintiff asked the defendant out on a date and she said, uh, you know, she was upset about it, is that enough to break the contract? Uh, yeah. Really? Yeah. You think so? No, it's, I think it's okay. It's just this harmless thing. Yeah. Okay, so what if then uh, he saw that she was mad and he asked her if she was on her period? Would that be enough? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> what do you say about that? It's not on the contract, but I wouldn't be too happy because that's a very personal question. Yeah, they generally don't have periods in the contract. I yeah. Mean, <laughs> I don't know, going inside the courtroom. <laughs> so tell me, um, all right. So you don't have any texts that show that you gave him I the 100? I do have texts. Oh, the text of the 130. Right. Let me see it. I'd like to see it in your phone if okay, you Okay, no mind. problem. Okay, so there's a series of texts where you talk to each other and you're discussing what's owed. And in them, you say, I'm going to stop by Sunday for the $130 balance. How did 130 become 600? How did 600 become 3,000 in court today? Well, the 3,000 was because I felt the contract was written up for false statements to her. She what does made that these, mean? Well, what she said was, I don't have money, but she had the money. Tough for you. I agree. Okay, I agree. so, so you get it for 3000 right. So now that's, that's knocked it down to right. what? What had it? Is it 130 like your text says, or is it 600 What is that about? When I was driving, that's when I did the text. I pulled over the side road. I didn't have my contract on me. I did not go through the numbers. I didn't add anything up. When she got, when That's what you're going to say about why you... First of I, all, you said when I was driving. Then you realized that I'm going to come down on you for texting <laughs> no, and no, driving. No, no, I, I, drive, I drove 750 miles back and forth. Then to don't get, answer if you don't have yes. the facts. You're suggesting to me that you're saying 130 mm -hmm. was wrong. If she said 130, you'll get the last 130 when you move the flooring to my basement, which, frankly, move it yourself. And uh, when you write in the text repeatedly, mm -hmm. not once, okay. uh, the 130 you owe me, yes. um, it appears that since you didn't have to do the remaining part of the fence, that somehow that's the term you guys agreed to, right? We didn't agree to it. That's what she was saying. So when I stopped on the side of the road to read text, I just She repeated. says that she didn't want to continue to employ you because you were rude. I was not rude to her, ma'am. Okay. I was not rude to her. If you owe, why did you employ Jeremy to do the rest of that fence? There was a couple of times he was no call, no show. You can see in a text message where he said, I came in at 5 a.m., I'm still asleep. So I would screenshot the messages back to him and said, you said you was coming. Uh, and then he was just like, I can't see media. And then another day he said he was going to come. And I'm like on a time constraint. I'm paying $800 a month to keep my dog in a kennel. You're 200... paying $800 a month to keep your dog in a kennel? And right. you're paying this guy like $700 to do it? <laughs> <laughs> That's the price he said. That's I'm... it. Everybody it's the price he up. said. Mm -hmm. it's a, this is a lesson learned for you a little bit, <laughs> right? A little bit. You know, because if you're bitter while you're doing the job, it's a problem. Did you ask her out while you were doing the job? No, I did not. To see the beach? Did you ask her to the beach? A network of us go to the beach. I wasn't asking her to date. I said, we go to the beach. Would you like to join us? Okay. That's all. All right. Were you inappropriate in any way? No, ma'am. You didn't ask me if I was on my period? I did that one time because she was acting really strange that day. <laughs> I was having a bad <laughs> day. <laughs> bad. <laughs> bad idea, uh, Yes, friend. I agree. Very bad idea. You didn't curse me out? You didn't? Okay, stop talking to him that. directly. Okay, no problem. You know what? If it's good enough for you guys, it's good enough for me. I'm going to order you to pay the $130. And as far as the stuff he left there that was, you know, yeah, maybe it would have been nice to bring it to the basement, but it, it, seriously, I would do that in four seconds. There's not, it's not a reason to hold back whatever money you owed him, according to you at that point. Um, I and according him. to him, uh, you know, uh, so if, if $130 is what we were talking about over that, $130, verdict for the plaintiff. Good luck, folks. No problem. Okay, All right, well, he sued for $3,000. He came out with $130. Uh, what, what's your reaction on this That's fair verdict? Enough. That's, That's fair enough. enough. Yes, so I just wanted to get paid for the actual work that I did. Mm -hmm. You regret any of your uh, behavior or things you said to her? Yeah, maybe I shouldn't have asked if she was on a period. Okay. Thank you. Hello. Oh, so, okay, so how are you, how you feeling about the outcome of this case here? Good. Yeah? Yeah, mm -hmm. I think it's fair. All right, he, he kind of feels like you tried to, you know, do him Stiff him. No, absolutely not. I would have paid him. And you had all those, and you have all those uh, handbags that you were bragging about there. Irrelevant, so. but I wasn't it, bragging about anything. If I got it, I got it. How many handbags do you got? I have thirty now. Thirty. Mm -hmm. What do you do with them? I wear them. This is one. Isn't it ready? Thanks. Harvey. <laughs>
You know, you can cancel a contract for really inappropriate behavior, but this just doesn't rise to that level.